I don't even know if we can continue with today's second date. It's just a little too steamy, I think. <laughs> I mean, lots of hug and action going on with Danny, who's on the phone for a second date right now. If you missed the first part of it, he wants to call a girl named Angela. They met online, and they went to go to a bar to have some drinks. He was actually pretty late, and that's why he thinks he's not going to call back. He was like 40-something minutes late because he was waiting for a package to be delivered. She seemed okay with that, but the thing that he was really highlighting was how amazing the first hug was with her as soon as he got there. <laughs> Then he hugged her again in the middle of the date and then ended the date with a hug. But now it's obvious that she's kind of avoiding him. So we'll see if we can get her on the phone and find out why. Danny, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. And do you regret that last hug? Because you said it wasn't as good as the other two. Like, maybe it's like too much of a good thing. I mean, I wondered about that. But honestly, I never regret a hug. Okay. okay. You know what? Stand by your hugs, Danny. Stand good. by them. He's like, I mean, I got the hug. That's yeah. what matters. All right. Well, I'm going to dial her phone right now, okay? Okay. All right. Here we go. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Angela? This is she. Who is calling? Hey, Angela, how are you? This is Jubal from the radio show Brooke and Jubal in the Morning. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi. How, how are you? Have you heard of the show before? Uh, maybe. Why are you calling? Well, I'm calling you today because we do a segment on our show. It's called The Second Date. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then end up not wanting to see them again, they can email us to get you on the phone and ask why. Okay. Okay. And <laughs> we got an email about you from a dude named Danny. Okay. And Danny <laughs> told us about your date. He said that he thought you guys had a good time, but now it's kind of obvious that you don't want to see him again, and he's wondering if he did something wrong. What, what did he tell you? Well, he did tell us that he was late. Like really day. He thought maybe that was a problem. But he also said everything seemed fine. I mean, other than just the standard, hey, we met for drinks, it was fun type of stuff. That's it. I take it there's something else he should have told us? I mean, it was a weird night. Okay. All he didn't, of it? He didn't really mention anything that sounded weird to us. It sounded pretty normal. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe you, how about you describe your date with Danny then? It was fine. It, the, the kind of like funny weird thing is that we hugged when he got there, mm -hmm. and then he like kept talking about it. Yeah, <laughs> about the I'll, hug. I'll be honest. He told us about that too, and he was really pumped about the yeah. hug you guys shared. He'll never forget it. But it didn't sound weird to me. Oh well, like I'm dating, right? Like I met this guy in an app. I don't know him. I'm always like on alert for weirdos, mm -hmm. and. He hugged me, and then throughout the night, he hugged our server, he hugged this <laughs> random guy at the bar, and... No way! I think he hugged the valet guy. So, oh. What? <laughs> Danny's a hugger, is what you're saying. Does he not know how to shake hands? Like... Yeah, he hugged a few people. He's just, like, a big hug guy. And oh. does he say, like, hey, give me a hug, or does he just go in without Come the here. announcement? Usually he just goes in, just kind of, like, opens his arms and, like... <laughs> To grab you. <laughs> okay. So he was just like hugging everybody that walked by. I mean, he would like say a few things to them first, but yeah. And I'm like, anyone who hugs a server, like, that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think it's only weird if people's reactions were weird. How did people take it? I think the valet guy was like super not into it. But... <laughs> yeah. I bet you valet well... guys don't get enough hugs, actually. <laughs> That's probably true. You need so many a day, and they're just not loved enough. You didn't know what to do. He was just like so confused. But the guy at the bar was drunk, and the server was nice. So that like, wasn't a big deal, I guess. But the weirdest part, actually, I'm remembering when he would hug me, he would like moan a little bit. What? Oh, no. How? Like, Hmm. <laughs> like it felt so good. Oh, he's just like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure he did it with every hug. That's like what he does when he hugs. I'm just like, oh, mm. oh, oh. I guess. You smell I can, so good. When you say it, I feel like I may moan when I, know, I hug. Just like, no, like, like, I think do I do I? that. I think I do that too. <laughs> to a valet guy? I don't know. Yeah, no, not to a valet I've guy. I've hugged a lot of people, not a valet guy, but I'm not fancy enough for valet very often, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a, a weird, funny night. All right. Well, thank you for explaining that. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Also, another thing weird is that he's on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. That's weird, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's still on the line. Are you still there, Danny? 
<clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm here. Need a hug? Oh, Danny. <laughs> I bet he does. Angela, is my hugging really the reason why you, you didn't want to set up a second date? You know what? You're like the sweetest. But I'm sorry, it's just not a match. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean, look, I'm sorry if I weirded you out. But just so you know, like, I was born and raised a hugger. My <laughs> my family hugs. And, like, that's just our thing. Like, so, like some people talk and some people send letters and some people give gifts. And we, we hug. I hug. I speak through <laughs> hugs. And, like, speak through I, speak through hugs. <laughs> I get it. Like, you kind of feel like I'm a weirdo. But I just want you to know, like, you're an amazing hugger. And, like, even just because you weren't raised that way doesn't mean that, like, you can't still be this incredible hugger that you are. He sees your hugging potential. (laughs) What's happening? He's like, let me teach you. Danny, this sounds like more than just something you do. It sounds like your lifestyle. religion? I mean, hugging is important. Hugging is like a beautiful connection between people. And Angela, that's what I felt like we had the other night. And like, I get it. Not everyone is a big hugger, but like the way that your arms went under my arms that fit perfectly and like... (laughs) It wasn't like it was hugging a stranger. It was like someone I've known my entire life. Aww. You know, it was like hugging a family member. Yeah, I would have left that part out, yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> but not in a weird way. Not like that. You know what I mean? Like, you... Okay, obviously this is not going well. I mean, you are so sweet, but I'm not into hugs like you, man. But, Angel, I mean, he sounds like a nice guy. He sounds like... Yeah, for he, sure. He's not creepy. He didn't creep you out. I mean, if anything, you were just uncomfortable with, I don't know, maybe too many hugs for the valet or something. But I mean, yeah, it was a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, I get it. I get it. You know, it's fine. But Angela, just know, like, what's amazing, not just about your hugs, is that they're amazing, is that you're an amazing hugger and you don't even know it. <laughs> wow. That's a nice compliment. Aww. Angela. That's quite a cute oh my god. Angela. I rejected him and he complimented me. Like, yeah. thank you. Guy. Well, that's because you don't realize how good of a hugger you yeah. are. That's the problem. <laughs> wow. Danny would like to now show I know. you. So would you like to go on a second date with Danny? We'll pay for it. Uh, no. Oh, oh really? Oh, I thought cool. for sure you'd give him another yeah. chance. What if he calmed down the hugs? Uh you know what? I think there's someone out there that is gonna love hugs and love Danny. Okay. Aww. But you know, Danny, like, I'm down to be your friend if you wanna like text me and like hang out in that way like i don't know if you are down for that but yeah i mean i guess that's better than nothing do you think uh do you think we could still hug oh Oh, wow hey come on now (laughs) she just offered to be friends don't go in for that could we be friends that hug once in a while too you know that never ends up good it usually ruins friendships (laughs) Uh, we'll we'll, we'll see we'll take it one hug at a time All right, well, just know that I'm giving you a virtual hug over the airwaves right oh, now. Oh, wow. I can feel it. Oh, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> What's the appropriate amount of time you can be late for a date? I don't know, five, maybe ten days? What? Days? And no. then after that, it gets to be a little bit of a bother. Danny's on the phone for a second date today, and I guess he thinks the fact that he was a little late might be ruining his chances for a second date. What's up, Danny? How are you? Hey, I'm doing good, guys. How are y'all doing? Good. Okay. So how many days late were you? I was pretty late to this day, but it was it was it wasn't days late. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't understand force... what the problem is then. <laughs> you don't you didn't force her to live at the restaurant for a while? <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't do that to her. Okay. Well, <laughs> before we find out about your date and exactly how late you were, what's the name of the girl you want to call today? Angela. Angela, all right. And where did you meet Angela? We met on a dating app. Okay. okay. Is there anything that stood out about her? She's got an amazing smile. All her pictures were really good, and she's a pet lover, which I really like. She's got a dog. Nice. Okay. So do you have a dog? I don't. I uh, Unfortunately, I had a dog that passed away last year, and I haven't brought myself to get a new one. Maybe that's why. What? Maybe she doesn't want to go out with you because you had a dog that died. I'm super judgy about that. When anybody has a pet that died, I get super judgy. So maybe that's it. What did you do? Yeah. (laughs) So what did you guys do when you went out on your date? We decided just to keep it simple, get a drink, make sure we were, you know, compatible face-to-face. And I guess that's when you were late. How late were you? I was about 40, 45 minutes late. Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty late. But I have a good reason. I have a good reason. I do. And I was being very communicative about my tardiness via text message. What was your reason? Well, I was having a package delivered that day. And it was a surprise gift from my mom, and she gave me a window. So it's like one of those services where, you know, they're like, this package will be delivered between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., and you have no idea when it's going to get there, right? All right. So 
I, of course, you know, surprise, surprise, the guy finally delivers it at 5.58 p.m., you know, on the very end of the window. Yeah. And it was just one of those situations where I was getting the feeling that it was a pretty valuable thing, and I couldn't just leave it on my doorstep oh. like, outside. I didn't want to risk that. Okay. And was she understanding about that? I mean, did she seem understanding when you shut up? I mean, I think so. She seemed pretty good. I mean, we had this moment. So, you know, it was a pretty crowded bar and it took me a second to sort of pick her out of the crowd. There were a lot of people and I was still kind of stressed because I kind of booked it as Mm -hmm. soon as the package arrived. And then she finally, she like sees me and is like waving me over. And then I see her, but then it takes me a while to get there. But then I walk up and I don't know if it was like the the nerves or like the adrenaline, but I go in for, for the hug right away. And I just give her this like huge hug. Because, yeah, I I don't know, it's just a relief to sort of get there. And she returns the hug, and it's this, like, amazing hug. Like you guys ran to each other for it. That's actually really nice. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like this hug happened, and, like, all the stress just melted away. Like, it was just this great first connection, and I immediately calmed down, and I was, like, there and in it and present with her, and it was great. So the rest, how long did you guys have drinks for? Probably hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Okay, okay, that's not bad. I mean, that seems like she probably wasn't too pissed that you showed up late then. Plus, love at first hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love at first hug. So, like, a, about an hour and a half in, something like that, I go to the bathroom, and I come back. We've had a couple, so I might be a little tipsy at this point. And I was just, like, I had been thinking about the first hug, and I was, like, kind of tried to explain to her how great it was for that hug to happen to me and kind of calm down a little bit. And I, So I, I went ahead and I asked her for a second hug, if I could hug her again. Oh. That's okay. Weird. That's kind of awkward. Yeah, you asked for a kiss, I understand. Well, and like the hug? first hug was like natural. Right. Second hug right. sounds forced. Mm. Did you get it? Yeah, she hugged me. I mean, I guess in retrospect, maybe it was a little weird, but <laughs> she seemed okay with it, and we okay. hugged again, and it was, it was really good. It was another like <laughs> really great hug. You guys are good huggers. <laughs> it's just, really cute. You're like, you're like holding each other yeah. for like ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. And then actually, that wasn't even our last hug of the night because oh. pretty soon after that, we decided to call it quits. Mm. So we went outside, and before we parted ways, we had another hug. Wow, this is getting too hot for me to listen to anymore. (laughs) Honestly, it wasn't as good as the first two, but it was definitely like a really solid hug. (laughs) Okay, there was no like pat in it. It was like a still solid. Yeah, Yeah, it was good. It was good. It wasn't great. It was good. Okay, Okay. and is that it? Is that the last you've heard from her? You know, I was asking her if she wanted to see me again. We should hang out again. And she was kind of positive, but non-committal. You know, Mm. she wasn't going to be like, oh, yeah, Thursday or... She was just sort of like not really hitting me with any dates, and then we parted ways, and I haven't heard from her. Okay, mm-hmm. and right. and you have tried to contact her. Oh yeah, I sent her a couple texts that she sort of responded to shortly. Okay. okay, but it's obvious that she doesn't really want to see you again. I mean, I guess, but I'm telling you, if you had hugged her the way that I hugged her, <laughs> it sounds like it. I gotta watch. Yeah, you now. I know. Seriously. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll play a song and then come back and call her and get your second date. All right. All right. Thanks. Okay. Hang on.